What's up y'all, this is Michael K. Malloy coming to you live and direct with some hot fresh new tutorials. Now, let's say you're building your form and you're at the point where you're about to submit. Well stay tuned and I will show you how you can submit and have a unique identifier each time. And also, when you update or edit your form, you will overwrite the existing form so that you don't create a brand new form. Uh, just because you happen to be making a few edits so here we go first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a hidden field so i'm going to go in and just throw one in here text box we'll call it hidden file name it'll make sense in a minute and then we're going to hide it by just getting rid of the field in the form here but we'll still have it uh, as part of the actual form but it just won't be uh, here for the user when they create a new form all right now what we got to do is we got to create a data submission uh, connection so a data connection for submit so go in here we'll add one uh, submit next we're going to do to a document library and it's actually a form but just go with it and then we need that form library URL so we'll bounce over here grab that URL there we go and we don't need the forms and all items just this part all right let's rock and roll And we're going to make the hidden file name the actual file name. So we're going to get rid of this information, replace it with field or group, hidden file name. Okay. And overwrite. There we go. And there's our submit data connection. Close this. And now we have to tell InfoPath that when the user opens a new form, we need to give it a unique identifier excuse me rather when they close the form we need to give it a unique identifier uh, and then we're going to assign that unique identifier as the file name and we have to say if it's blank uh, if the hidden file name is blank then put that unique identifier in there uh, if it's not blank then just overwrite so here's how we do that we go ahead and we're going to add our button for submit. And we'll get it all centered up nice and good there. Nice. Make it a little bit bigger. Come on. There we go. We double click on it and it opens up the button with the rules, which is what we want. Go ahead and click on the rules. And first rule is going to be in action. We're going to say if hidden file name is blank we want you to do something so we're going to say if that's the case we're going to make that condition here hidden file name is blank if so here's what you need to do set a fills value we're going to set that hidden file name value and we'll make it something that is unique We're going to concat, which means we're going to combine some things. We're going to combine that user's last name that they enter with the current date time all the way down to the second. That's going to be now. Okay, and we don't need the stuff after that. Get rid of that. And we'll leave that parenthesis. Get rid of this info. And there we go. We'll verify. Good to go. Love it. Okay. And we need to add some more actions here. We'll say then submit that data. Boom. Then close it on down. Now we need to do one more rule. 
we'll say if hidden file name is not blank. Here's what you gotta do. That means it's an it's not a brand new form. In that case, we just want you to submit that bad boy. Just submit it in and then shut it down. And there you go. So from here, we're just gonna save. I'm gonna publish that. I should probably do a full-fledged publish here. Let's just see if the columns transferred over. I'm willing to bet they didn't. If not, I'll show you how to make that happen. No big deal. Okay, let's take a peek. Pretty sure nothing came over. Yeah, that's what I thought. So we have to tell it to bring those over. So we've got a file, publish, server, next, next, and we're updating a form library. And then let's bring over our two columns that we want to see. Last name, instrument. All right, here we go. We're almost there, folks. We're in the home stretch. Okay. Now, we'll go in. Let's test our. Oh, let's refresh and check it out. There we go. All right, we have our in, our last name and instrument. All right. Of course, euphonium is the best instrument in the world. And then there you go. Here's your name. We got the concat with the last name next to the year, the month, the day, hours, minutes, seconds. There you go. Now, to really test it out, we'll go back in and we'll edit this. Submit again and see how it stayed the same. That's what we wanted, as a matter of fact. We changed the last name to Johnson. We want to keep this record the same. So, this has been your tutorial on how you can create a unique identifier for each and every InfoPath form and how you can make sure that when you make edits to that form, that you maintain that unique identifier. Hope it's been helpful. If you like it, please pass it along. Please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button. That's right. Lower right hand corner. There you go. Have a good one.